Within the souls of every Hellspawn, a battle is waged. What scraps of humanity can they hold on to? What master will they serve? Every Hellspawn, all the way back to the primordial past, has lost their struggle with the darkness. Each one sank into the pit to sit at the right hand of Mel Bolger, to wait for the final battle against the light. again, didn't he? The Black Knight will keep coming to you, tormenting you, until you choose. How do you know my dreams? Within you are the remnants of other Hellspawns from the past. You and I are connected across a millennia. You're nothing like me. You can't know what I feel. It's time you had the cold, hard truth. I'm nearly out of time, and you are the only hope I have to finish my journey. Look, old man. I don't know how you know about the dreams I have. Maybe I yelled out. But that's all it was. A bad dream. Humans dream, not dead men who have sold their souls. Get away from me! Violence is all you know. You thrive on it, but it only sends more souls to your master. It makes him stronger. I have no master. Yes, you do. Malbolgia. And he chose the right man. Look at me. I'm not a man anymore. You were a man once. You can be a man again. He can't be real. He is real, and you know it. What do you want from me? I want you to remove that scarlet shroud. A hellspawn can be free of the curse. How can you know that? Because I am free. Oh. Where are we going first? We'll bet that club we used to go to on 42nd. Hey, college boy. You've been gone too long. We don't go there anymore. Yeah, we don't go there anymore. In fact, you don't ask where we go. We go where I drive. Yeah, we go where he drives. Man, there's nothing like a Saturday night. Hey, Joey. You can have a real woman tonight, huh? Not that college peach fuzz. Jesus, come on, Frankie. You know I'm going out with Gina. I know I'm not going out with Gina. <laughs> hey, Petey. You were always the smartest guy in school. Yeah. You know how to work it. How come you didn't go to college? I have some good business opportunities. I know a sweet setup when I see it. That's what separates me from the rest of the dumb fucks in this neighborhood. Yeah, hey, that. what are we doing at Orvetti's? He's closing yeah, up. I'm hungry. Just for old times sake, you know, like when we was kids, cruising the old neighborhood. Remember how Mr. O used to slip his candy on a slide so his old that. lady wouldn't see? You remember that, Petey? Yeah, he was cool. <laughs> Last of the guys from the old country. When mom got sick and after when she was gone, he used to bring bags of groceries up to the apartment. That's right. Come on, let's go in. See what's up with him. Mr. Ovetti, you closing up? Hey, I'm never close for you boys. You should come down to the neighborhood more. Hey, Mr. Ovetti, you got any of that cannoli you used to give hey, my pops? Hey, Mr. O. Forget about it. I got cannoli, I got pasta short, I got everything here. Manji, manji, eat, eat, eat. 
Look at you kids. Me, I see men in my store tonight. Not little boys anymore. Hey, Mr. O. It's Joey. Jesus! What Ow. the fuck did you do that? Well, it's doing a little favor for the guy, that's all. Holy shit! That's the way it's done, Frank. Holy Quick, shit. easy. It gets a little messy sometimes, but hey, forget about it. What's done is done. Jesus, Petey, what, what'd you do to my cannoli? There's fucking brains in it now. How am I supposed to eat this shit, huh? I've been around a little long on you, Frankie, so you gotta listen to me a little bit. If you wanna get noticed, you gotta do favors. I don't want any part of this, man. If the cops ask me, I'm gonna tell them that. I'm gonna tell them what you did. Shut up, Joey. I'm not going to prison for this, Petey, you dumb fuck! And stand still, I got my eye on you. You killed him for nothing! Easy, kid, come on. Shit, Poppy, what's fucking going on? You gotta tell me what's happening Hey, here. Frankie, listen, don't worry, all right? It's, it's nothing. Get in the fucking car, all right? Let's just go, come on. Okay, what's done is done. It's dead. We just gotta keep it together. We gotta keep it cool. I'm gonna get sick. Lighten up, man. Listen, hey, look, have a little talk, all right? You need to relax a little, okay? Let me out of here. I can't breathe, man. Come on. Shut up! Just shut up, all of you. I gotta work things out. I'm gonna puke! Poor! Oh. Be a man. There's an alley up ahead. Made a big mistake, Frankie, bringing him. I ain't gonna lie to you, Frankie. I don't think Joey's gonna make it home tonight. He's just sick, Petey. You know, I, I, I'll, I'll take care of him. You know, he, he, he's not from the streets. He, he didn't get to the army like us. Yeah, you don't understand. I'm saying he's not gonna make it home at all. So you do it, Frankie. You take care of him right now. Man, move! Let's go! What's going on, Frankie? What's going on? Talk to me. Come on, man. Don't choke around. Oh, Frankie, what are you doing? I'm your best friend. Put the gun away, man. You think he'll do it? You're Frankie Smart. I don't want to stay out all night burying bodies. I thought we were buddies, Frankie. What are you doing? Don't shoot me, man. I'm begging you. I don't want to die. Shut up, Joey. It's your fault. You brought this on yourself, but you hadn't opened your mouth to Petey. Frankie, it's me, Joey. Why are you doing this, man? Come on, you know I wouldn't give you up. Shut up! <laughs> What's happening, old man? The portal is opening. Preparing to receive a soul. Strange. It feels... Familiar? Yes. You yourself came through. You just don't remember. I don't want to look at your face! <laughs> What's done is done, Joey. Why don't you kill your good buddy somewhere else? Jesus Christ! I'm sick of seeing you punks in my alley. What are you, some kind of freak? Get the fuck out of here, Joey! <laughs> You're just taking up space, breathing my air. This boy wants to be a killer, like you. It looks like you're going to show him how. I want you gone. Why are you doing this, kid? You don't owe them anything. You think I want to shoot him? Joey fucked up. 
I brought them into this, and now they think I'm a rat, too. They made me. This isn't even my fucking gun. Get out. You think you control what goes on here? You're damn right. You have a lot to learn, Hellspawn. That's taking too long. Maybe, you know, maybe Frankie didn't have the guts. And they're both dead. Yeah, they're both dead. Side. Mister, in my neighborhood, you take care of business, or business takes care of you. I don't have to do shit. Now, what are you two faggots go fuck off? <laughs> Who is the real executioner here? Anyone who would murder his best friend isn't worth keeping alive. You think he's the only one who has sacrificed a friend? You had choices about killing two Hellspawn. You know better than him. I was a soldier, stuck in a lot of dirty little wars. I took orders. This kid's just taking orders, too. His life depends on it. You remember your buddy, don't you? The friend you sacrificed in the jungle. What'd you say? You let him die at the hands of the enemy, while you survived. I don't want you in my head, old man. Do you remember your friend, Sykes? You could have saved him. Your position, man. I want to know your unit's position. Don't tell him anything, Al. <laughs> How about you, Maricon? Would you like to live? Don't tell them anything. Oh! Sykes! They're coming, man. It took hours before your friend's body stopped moving. There was the smell of his blood, the sound of the machete hacking through bone, his moaning, the little whimpers before he died. Do you remember those sounds? Do you remember the blood? How thick? Your feet were sliding on it. When it was your turn, what was the only thing you could think of? Do you remember what that was? The one thing you would give anything for? 
better kill me. Do you remember? Secure the area! Cut our men off that pole! Now! <coughs> Major Fosberg, sir. We didn't tell them anything, sir. Jesus. All the map coordinates we gave you were bogus, in case you were captured. Even after you were rescued. Just women and children, Al. Don't give in to the demons. I can guide you out of here. Listen to me, Al. Look at me. Don't let the demons take you. You hear me, soldier? Don't let the demons take you. You remember that, don't you? Don't you? Uh, yes! Yes! It felt good. I'm glad I killed the little prick. I scattered his brains all over the jungle. When you pulled that trigger, you made the eyes of hell turn toward you that day. You made hell take notice. You're lying. You don't know a damn thing about me. You gave Hell a new player. That moment was the beginning. You made them look at you, crave you. Spawn was born on that day. That's why they turned me into a monster. They put their right face on you, Hell Spawn. You're just like Frankie here. When you were still human, you gave up your humanity. Hey, uh, Gramps. This night of the living dead stuff is, uh, really freaking me out. I didn't choose hell. What the fuck am I doing? I'm talking to a bum about hell. There ain't no hell. I gotta get out of here. Now, now you get me out of this goddamn fog. No, it's done. Time to choose. Trigger has already been pulled. The target chosen. Why are you doing this, Frankie? Don't don't shoot, Petey. What's it gonna be, Frankie? You did the right thing, Frankie. Tonight, you made your bones. If you had killed them, Malbolgia would just have had more soldiers. Why does Malbolgia play these little games? He didn't make Frankie pull that trigger. Frankie made the choice to be a killer, just like you did. 
Hell can't make you choose. They don't have that power. You justified it. I'm not buying into your little drama, old man. Why? Because you refuse to trust me. Then find someone else. There must have been someone you believed in sometime in your life. Don't give in to the demons. Fosberg. I trusted him. He was a rock. Not anymore. Forsberg, how have you been? I hope my friends have been treating you well. Shh. I've come for you. How does one find humanity? in an alley. How does one regain one's soul in an abandoned church? For this newest hell spawn, this alley is a way station, his special purgatory. In sickness and in health, until death do you part. He lurks here in the shadows, amid this human debris, waiting just inside the portal from hell. This is not his domain. His domain is that burned skin, his shell of necroplasm, and the scarlet shroud which hovers around him, protecting him and possessing him at the same time. I'm sorry it made you stay here again, honey. Where is the old man? Why isn't he here? I... I don't know. He's a ghost. Like you, he just appears. Al, what's happening to your face? He's laughing at me! Hey, come on, come on. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's, look, it's just the church bells, man. Come on, it's Sunday morning. Stop it!
did you think you could strike a deal with Malbolger and then renege? This is a graveyard. I can feel the death. Yes. Look around you. These artifacts are all that remain from Hellspawns of the past. They were cursed, like you. This is their shrine, a reminder of what may be your fate. Maybe I'm not a crazy old bum. What do they call you? I have had many names. In this time, they call me Coliostro. How long have you been hiding here? Hiding? <laughs> I've been here for many years. You see, I'm the Knight Curator of Antiquities. This is how I have kept these relics safe. While I waited for you. Waited? In every age, a Hellspawn is sent. I tried to guide them, as I've tried to guide you. But they are lost souls. I'm not them. This is your tomb. What deal did you strike with him? It was the time of knighthood. The time of the mist. After the endless battles and the slaughter of innocents, it was I who was sent by Melbolger to collect the souls and ride with them in the air at night. The ride of the dead. But never to die. There was no honor in that, not for a night. My honor had been taken from me. I turned away from killing. The black arts drew me. I struggled with the evil inside and used sorcery to free myself. In that time, I was known as Merlin. You are the Black Knight, then I want answers. Your flesh rebels against you. The Shroud attacks you. You wallow in self-pity. You're lost. I don't want to hear any more talk, old man. You claim to be some kind of wizard. Show me what this goddamn Shroud is good for. No. You will, old man. This is not the alley, Hellspawn. I make the rules in this place. You are in my domain. They may have taken your honor, but they stole my life. I came back for Wanda, but she sees me as a monster. Do you wish to find the answers? What are you prepared to do? I am going to get my life back. If you won't help me, I'll find the answers somewhere else. One of your officers filed a report on a cop killed in the alleys. Jason, you're a busy man. Why are you spending your time reading our New York City police reports? Chief Banks. If I didn't feel you served a purpose for me, I wouldn't have gotten you nominated for police commissioner. And we wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? Mr. Wynn, I, I, I didn't mean to imply that... The report was written by an officer named Max Williams. Twitch. Smart cop. Thorough. His partner is Sam Burke, a meat and potatoes guy. Your smart cop describes the shooting death of one of your best officers, killed in the alleys. The dying man's last words on Earth were, Red Cloak. Find the man in the red cloak. Don't move in on him until you call me. Consider it done. Damn thing's no good. Sights are off or something. Yes, sir. Worthless piece of shit. It's jammed. Fortunately... I can usually shoot the dick off a squirrel from here. Look at this junk, stupid gun. Your lack of aim is surely the gun's fault, sir. Lack of aim, huh? What, Twitch? You think you can do better? You know, Twitch, you really lost your sense of humor. You're too serious. You gotta learn to lighten up a little.
Let's just see now. Lucky son of a bitch. Give me that gun. Burke, I thought they weren't gonna let you back on the range after that incident last week. Hey, I've been clear to that one. It was the guy's fault. He should have ducked. <laughs> You're at a disadvantage, Burke. Your gut keeps you too far from the target. Hey, Twitch, I think the chief just cracked a joke. All right, this is your report on one of ours that was killed in the alleys? We closed that case. It was our collar. That cop was killed by a crazy priest. Before he died, that cop said there were two of them. That leads me to believe that maybe the priest had a playmate. He also said something about a red cloak. I remember. That's a detail I shouldn't have missed, Chief. Get me a perp. I don't care if you gotta eat, sleep, and breathe those alleys. And I don't care how much shit you step in. You should feel right at home there, Burke. Check it out. You're missing the point, Lisa. I don't want you to have a good time in New York. I want you to have a lonely, exhausting trip. Which indicates to me that you're writing a story that will spill a lot of ink. Let's cut the bullshit. If I wasn't the best, you wouldn't have sent me. You got a thing for these psychos, Lisa. You always manage to get close to them. Yeah, well, my job is to hunt them down. They all give off the same scent. What scent is that? Evil. Hey, Lisa. Yeah? You're spooky. Now tell me what you have. This guy wears a red cloak. <laughs> hey, he's no joke. He murders people. I'm gonna find him and deliver to you his head on a platter. Fourth time with this zombie, and we don't have shit. The guy has no prints, no name. And as soon as he starts in about the dead guy is back, I'm gone. I can't do a fifth dance with this twisted sister. Nice digs. It's a good thing you're getting some R&R, &R, big guy. Wallflower, huh? You see this? This is a forensic report. It says that your DNA matches the cells found underneath the nails of a dead bum. We also have witnesses that say you killed this less fortunate fellow. We found this nearby. He's dead. I saw him burn to a crisp. But he's back. That's it. I'm gone. Come on, Twitch. Who's back from the dead? He looked at me with those green eyes. That cloak, it reached out and touched me like it was alive. Did you say cloak? He's gonna drag me back to hell. Tell me, who's come from hell? Simmons. Al Simmons. What the hell are you doing? Just checking some details, sir. How's the chili dog? I kind of light on the onions. That may signal a slight improvement in air quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a comedian. I'm going to grab a soda.
You came in looking for me. Why? Shall we have a seat? You wrote some articles for the Washington Post about a soldier named Al Simmons. That's old news, Detective. Why the interest? I was just wondering if you could offer me anything that was too... sensitive to put in print. Like? You tell me. Member of a special ops group saved the president a few years back. But you already knew all that. Before you came in the door. I'm like you. I do my homework. You know what, Twitch? I like you. You're a good cop. And I'm a good reporter. And I know a fluff job when I hear it. So let's cut the bullshit. You tell me something. I'll tell you something. Ladies first. I wasn't allowed to print the fact that Al Simmons was burned alive on a mission that the uh, NSC says didn't happen. Your turn. I'm working the alley murders. Looking for a guy with a red cloak. I have a perp down in Bellevue that says he got a good look at this guy in the alley. Says he has a burned face. Now you tell me Al Simmons was burned alive. Coincidences do happen. I don't believe in coincidences. Thank you for your time, Miss Wu. I see the way you look when you talk about Al. You really loved him. He was my husband. No. I mean, he was the one. Is this going to show up in the paper? This is just you and me. What you said before about Al, you're right. He was that one. Just hearing his voice excited me. When he touched me, after he died, I ached for him. For months, I'd sleep with his shirt or his robe, anything that smelled like him. Mommy's in here, sweet girl. There you are. Ah, you're a pretty lady. I remember you. <laughs> I've never seen her take to someone so quickly. You have a way with her. <laughs> Is she Al's child? No. Al couldn't give us a child. What's happening with the NSC and Terry? He lost his job. Come on, Cyan. I'm glad he's not there. Up, uh, Mommy. We're a lot better off now. Hmm. Chase and Wynn will topple off the mountain. It is just a matter of time, Wanda. We almost lost everything, and I still can't get Terry to talk about it. He stays away for days at a time. Maybe he's protecting you. Sometimes the truth is brutal. It's driving us apart. Something's wrong. But he won't let me inside. Maybe you haven't grieved Al's death. Do you sometimes feel that he's still with you? You've seen him, haven't you? The creature. Twice. I've seen what he's capable of, and I haven't told anyone. You know who it is, don't you? He spoke my name. There was something in his voice. I think you should go now. If you can hear me, Al, I know you're with me. I feel it. Wanda. I'm hungry, Mama.
I ask you to step out where I can see you. Very respectfully. I warned the last cop not to come into my alley. Are you threatening me? What would you do about it? I'd shoot you between the eyes. Did you kill him, the police officer? You've got some hard bark on you for a little guy. No, I didn't kill him. Murders have occurred in this alley. One victim was a homeless man. We have a suspect who wears a skull face, a ritual of some kind. Chapel, I left him alive for you. This man you call Chapel, we have him locked away. He's quite completely insane. So naturally, when he described you, we didn't believe it. You believed it. You're here. He claims you're L. Simmons, a soldier who was burned alive five years ago. What do you think? I think you have somehow survived a government cover-up. You're closer than you think. Can you get me closer? You want to be a knight in shining armor? Go play cops and robbers, forget all about this. I wouldn't want to see your body dumped in my alley. Confirm Chapel's involvement. Chapel was just a puppet. The NSC was pulling the strings. Who's the puppet master? What difference does it make? Do you think you can stop them, little man? I can do my best. You were a soldier once, a hero to your country. What happened to your code of honor? When you play with matches, you can get burned. Don't come down to these alleys again. One of your officers has accessed some of my files, Chief Banks. Why? I don't know anything about it. The only guy here capable of doing that would be Twitch, Officer Williams. You asked about him before. He's working uh, on the killings in the alley. Find out what he knows. And after I get the information from Officer Williams? I understand that New York's finest, who are killed in the line of duty, are given quite a hero's burial. Just tell me where to send the flowers, Chief Banks. I spoke with the red-cloaked man here in this place. I believe he's still somewhere in these alleys. Okay, I'm gonna take a look around, check it out. This goes all the way up to a high official in the NSC. And who would this official be? The only man who could make decisions at this level is Jason Wynn. My instinct is that the suspect we have down at Bellevue is one of his assassins. That's quite a story, Twitch. I mean, it sounds like you have a very solid lead. You've done well, officer. The department is proud of you. Thank you, sir. Officer down. Get a goddamn ambulance down here. Jesus, he's bleeding hard from his head. Officer down! Do you hear me? God damn it! Twitch is down! Twitch? Can you hear me? This is Sam. Listen to me. Nobody dies tonight. You hear me? You're not gonna die in this shithole alley. Hey, Burke. I saw him. The guy with the red cloak. He came out of nowhere. Shot your partner. I chased him, but he just vanished. What he did to Twitch. Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm gonna kill that fucker for what he did here, my partner. Wait for backup. Burke! You hear that, you piece of shit? I'll fucking kill you!
Wait! Son of a bitch is gone! I knew you would come. They're swarming through the alleys. I can't go back till they're gone. There's always sanctuary for you here. Why do they hunt you? What have you done? They think I killed a cop. I can't hide from them anymore. You have to stop the senseless killing. The people I kill deserve to die! You project your evil onto others and then kill them, thinking you've destroyed that evil. You're no different from the other Hellspawns, and they're all dead. It is all foretold here in the Book of Knowledge. That's just a musty old book. It means nothing to me. There's only a single book like this one, written a long time ago. In the time of the mist, it can help you break the curse and defy Malbolgia. He made me a prisoner inside this shroud. I escaped the shroud. You can do the same and be free. It fights against me. I can't control it. Yes, you can. To be master of the shroud, you must be master of your heart. My heart is dead. That's what Malbolgia wants you to believe. Yes, he did choose a man whose heart was dark. But now, inside you, there is some good. Mel Bulger is the mind killer, and he will seep in like a sickness if you let him. The Shroud controls your flesh. But there is a way to keep it from controlling your mind and your heart. How do I fight against an enemy I can't see? that I know nothing about. A part of you is the enemy. You have to bury the man you once were because he's damned. Become a new man, a better man. Only then will the Shroud serve you. Don't preach to me! I need to know, can this thing give me my body back? It can give you any form you choose. So you have your face back. What then? I want to see my wife as I used to be, a man. I never had the chance to tell her goodbye. That's all I ask. There is a cost. I don't give a damn! I've already lost everything. There's nothing more to lose. You will be vulnerable in your human form. In time, your skin will decay, and you will return to the form you are now. Are you strong enough for that? Whatever you do, there will be consequences. Show me, old man! Allow the Shroud to envelop you. There you go. Twitch. Hey, buddy. Gonna make it. I, I told him you were gonna be okay. Back in business. I'm sorry. Who are you? It's me, Twitch. Sam, Sam Burke. I'm your partner. Of course. My partner. Cyan, child, stay out of those chocolates and get an apple like Granny told you to. All right, Granny. <laughs> I'll get it, Granny. That's all right, child, I'll get it. Who could that be? Yes, can I help you? I'm, I'm looking for Wanda Blake. 
And who is this that's asking? Just an old friend of hers, back in town. Well, now, I know most of Wanda's friends. Hi, it's me, Cyan. I'm sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> Would you like to come in and wait for her? No, I've made a mistake. Please, don't go. At least not yet. Al. Granny? What? You think I still wouldn't know you? I visit your grave every Sunday to talk to you and pray for you. I prayed that you'd answer me in some way. I could use a few prayers. Just last night I had a dream that you were in a darkened church looking for the Lord. You always did see more than the others. It is you. You have come from heaven, haven't you? An angel to watch over us. Oh, Granny, uh, I wish I was the person you want me to be. You've always had a good heart, Al. You just need to follow it. The Bible says, if you see and hear with your heart, you'll be shown the mysteries of his kingdom. The afterlife is not what the good book says, Granny. Why don't you come inside? I was wrong to come. I wanted to see Wanda. I, I was afraid. Uh, what could you be afraid of? That I would never see her again. Nothing can keep you and Wanda apart. Not death, not anything. Just wait for her. Watch over her. She'll join you in heaven one day. You always had faith, Granny. You're the only one who knows I've come back. This is my Granny. She can't see. She sees more than most. I think Wanda knows that you are still with her. Al? That's the sad man. How's our patient? You just join us? Feeling okay? I have a severe headache. What's your name? I'm Twitch. I mean, what is the name on your birth certificate? He knows his own name, Doc. Don't you, Twitch? Maximilian. Percival Williams. The bullet shattered on entering your skull. That's the good news. The bad news is that we couldn't remove the largest fragment. It's in a real precarious spot. So you'll have a little house guest for a while. Come on, Doc. Stop holding our hands. Tell us what the damage is here. You see, he suffers from edema. Until the swelling in his brain goes down, we won't know the extent of the damage. I'll check back later. Yeah, you do that, Doc. Sir, you look like you've lost some weight. Yeah, little, you weren't around to get me, don't... Hey, partner! You remember me! It's hard, sir. Uh, my memory... It, it feels shattered. Like a puzzle that, that fell to the floor. I'm searching for the pieces. Well, they said if you ever did wake up, you'd be a veggie. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. You just need a lot of rest. Help me, Sam. Don't let them put me away in some warehouse. I want to get this guy. We'll get him. I shot the bastard point blank, Wynn. Not even the doctors have figured out how he pulled through. Your inability to do the job has put you in a very difficult position, Chief Banks. We're both in a difficult position. This creature told Twitch about you. He'll eventually put the pieces back together. When he does, you'll be there.
Here he comes, I'll be close by. I've been waiting for Wynne to step wrong. If this information is what you say it is, Wynne will go away. Then your problems will go away, Mr. Fitzgerald. Forget me. What about my family? My wife and little girl? Mr. Sullivan, I want assurance that they'll be safe. I can't assure that. What? There is a cancer, Mr. Fitzgerald. A cancer that has spread through the NSC all the way to the top. My job is to destroy the enemy within. Whoever they are, wherever they hide. Judy, what's taking so long? I want the vice president on the phone now. Sir, I... they said he's not available. What do you mean, he's not available? He and I have this phone call every day. That's what they told me, sir. I'm sorry. Roger should know. I was strolling through Center Park today, and there were two men docking on a park bench. Did you hear me? Clearly. I was just thinking that a maggot like yourself wouldn't have the balls to fuck with me like you are if the two men on the bench were not a great threat to me. Something I'm sure is to your advantage. One man was Terry Fitzgerald. And the other man? Vice Chairman of the NSC, Richard Sullivan. The guy who's been circling over you like a vulture. I'll have to repay the favor someday. Hey, Wing. You're a free agent now. With what you know, you just became the most dangerous man on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> You got my message. Where's Cyan? She's at Granny's. I told you to bring her. She's safe there. I didn't like what I heard in your voice. Are you telling me you needed to keep her safe from me? I'm her daddy, remember? Lately, you scare me. And you're scaring Cyan. Pack your bags. We'll pick up Cyan on the way. What's going on? You've been gone two days. You don't even tell me where you've been? By morning, Jason Wynn will no longer be the director of the NSC. He'll be brought up on charges of treason. When he realizes I was the one who dropped the dime on him, he'll come after me. We can't stay here any longer, Wanda. We have to go. And start all over. No. There are laws in this country. I laws? Are you serious? You really believe being a lawyer is going to protect us? Wanda, listen to me. Wynn has people everywhere. We can't stay here any longer. This is my home. I won't be driven out. You're right, Wanda. I'm the one who's the target. Terry, wait. Where are you going? It's better if you don't know. Terry, please, don't go. insists on talking to you. I don't know a Chief Banks. It's the New York Times. They'd like a statement about the allegations. I'm not here. Judy, have my car pulled up and back. Where is he? He's out of the office. Hey! What do you think you're doing?
sorry, Wanda. I'm glad you came back. What is it? What's wrong? I don't know. For just a moment, I thought I saw them. I will always keep you safe. I love you, Wanda. I'm looking for a man. I wonder if you could help me. Hey, hey how about me, baby? <laughs> <laughs> he wears a red shroud. You're the only one beside him who ever called it a shroud. Where is he? Who is it that seeks the shroud? <laughs> Jade. There's still a price. <laughs> On your head, Hellspawn. You were the only Hellspawn to escape me. As you can see, I gave up my shroud. I live now as a human lives. I live in fear. Tell the new Hellspawn I'm coming for him. Someone else who hunts you. She is a celestial warrior. What are you talking about? A bounty hunter. Sent by the celestial masters. She was the Iron Mistress of Genghis Khan. I'm not interested in a history lesson, old man. You should be, because he also sent souls to Malborgia. Millions of them. He slaughtered innocent women and children. You look a little spooked. She hunted me as well. You feared a woman. <laughs> These spawns, long before you, they thought she was weak too because she was a woman. I tried to warn the others also. They didn't listen either. That's the skull of Genghis Khan. I'm not like him. Is there no blood on your hands, Hellspawn? Heaven has sent their bounty under, and now she wants your head. Let her come. When the full moon came, the Hellspawn stared at it for a long time, as if expecting to discover some truth in its cold stillness. Clarity, maybe. A measure of peacefulness. Things he hadn't known for a long time. 
But the moon only brought into his world more savageness. You see, this is business, Lakeisha. If you're not working for me, I lose money. Why you turn tricks for those fucking Russians? I treated you like my queen. I'm not stupid, I see through you. You think those nice clothes and fancy college talk makes you better than me? You're more whore than I am. You're nothing but a coward. <laughs> Is this what you do? You kill people with these things? You're not a hero. You're a coward. Ah! Get out of my house. Wanda, I... I don't even know who you are anymore. So, Charles, what do you want us to do with her, man? She just retired. Cut her up. Hey, I'll see you around, Lakeisha. <laughs> hey, lady, you okay? Officers requesting medical assistance at Alley's West. I remember West. this one. We busted a couple months ago. That you, Lakeisha? I know who did this. It was Charles, wasn't it? Not for nothing. You don't have to let him beat on you like that. Come on, Lakeisha. You want to make a statement this time? Lakeisha, help us put his black ass in jail where it belongs. You gonna bring flowers to my grave? Just leave me alone. Announcing the arrival of Red Traveler 164 from Des Moines, Iowa. Gate 53. Gate 53. She's so innocent and fresh. The homecoming queen who came to New York to be a star. <sighs> Jesus, you know the drill. Sure. Oh, tricks are gonna tear in a half. Where you going, sweetheart? The subway. Hey! <gasps> Beat it. Or I'll cut you like a fish. You have to be careful, miss. This is New York. You just don't talk to sleazoids like him. <laughs> I was hoping to get some directions. I'm really hungry, and I need a place to stay. Uh, hey, are you guys security? Yeah, what's the problem? Listen, uh, would you guys show this girl where the YWCA is? In here, buy her some dinner, will you? Sure. These guys will take care of you. Good luck, miss. If you need any help, just call me. You're really nice. <laughs> and they told me that New Yorkers might try to take advantage of a girl. <laughs> You're a long way from the sticks. What's your name? Lily. Lily? Make it Lily White Ass. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>